Good evening, this is Tina. How are you doing today? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the primary key, which is not that related to the hibernate. Okay, because in this video, we are more focus on how to pick a field as a primary key in your table. So there are two kinds of key. Okay, you can <coughs> Uh, make as primary key the first one let me change it to using black okay the first one is called a natural key let's give one example a public class and a person like in US almost everyone live here we have something called the social security number. This number will uniquely identify a person. It's unique and everyone only has one. So it, <clears throat> it's fine if we want to mark using social security number as a primary key. Suppose here we add entity. Then we can add an ID here, which means this social security number field will be the primary key to the per person okay, in the table. Uniquely identify a record or a role in the table. But it's not that good because suppose we want to record a person, uh, the uh, person's information most of the time uh, when for international like um, people we want to get a social security number immediately we have to wait you know and then go some process and submit the documentation and get approved by the government then you will get the social security number since if we're using social uh, security number as a primary key, which means before we get all the before we get approved, then our information cannot be saved in the database, right? So that's a problem when we're using the natural key, which it has a business meaning related to the domain model, and there's another one which is called a, a surrogate key. Okay, and uh, here let's give an, an same example person. And uh, in this case, we will give a number as the primary key to uniquely identify a role uh, or a person inside the database. Okay, what we do now is same thing. We add the entity here and we add the ID and probably in the person you will have a social security number you can add a unique constraint you can have first name last name but this ID is just a number it doesn't has any meaning with the person domain model just to have a number and in this uh, this kind of primary key we call the surrogate key and uh, when we design a uh, uh, when we design the or domain model or you design our tables, we prefer to using surrogate key because when we carry when we choose a primary key carry on the business meaning. Suppose in the later on you change it, then it's hard to extend on existing model, right? And also for the primary key here we are using long, right? And uh, for surrogate key, it's best not use primitive type. Okay, so which means uh, here it's better to using the reference type instead of using primitive type, because for the prim type, it will have a default value like int. The default value is zero. But if we have a record which the primary key we want to be zero, so it's hard to for the hibernate to differentiate the person doesn't uh, saved into a database before, which means uh, the new created person we want uh, we want to save later, or the person is actually saved 
because it has initial value zero. But if it's a reference type, we know if the person hasn't saved, the ID will be none. And if it's saved, it's gonna have a value there. Okay, so when we pick the primary key, for the best practice, we prefer to using surrogate key. And also we prefer to using the reference type instead of the primitive type. And uh, in Hibernate, if we want to mark a field as a primary key, use the annotation at ID. Okay, so that's it for this video. And uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.